Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech, I'm Josh. Today we're gonna to be showing you all how to pre-program your Edge TX Zora radio. Now if you guys don't know, Edge TX is a configuration that goes across so many phenomenal radios. The nice thing about this video is if you're watching this and you're doing switch assignments, the different pages that we're gonna go through, whether it's a Zorro, whether it's a new pocket radio, whether it's a TX-16, if it has Edge TX protocol, the basic process is gonna be all the same. So when you learn this once, you're gonna know it for life. Now for this Radio Master here, we're gonna go ahead and start from a fresh model, but the really cool thing is, is many Radio Master and Edge TX products have pre-made models for you. So if you see something like the Quad or you see something like FPV Drone, things like that, go ahead and check out those mixes because likely these switches may already be assigned under those as well. For this process, I'm gonna go ahead and take you from ground zero all the way through, all the way up to where you're ready to bind, especially if you're gonna be using our Tiny Whoop or FT Guardian. So here I have the Radio Master Zorro. The first thing I'm gonna do is do a long press and turn it on. I've already installed my batteries, it's already charged. Welcome to HTX. Now I already have many different models here. And like I said before, I'm gonna start from a new model. The way that I'm gonna select the new models, I'm gonna do a long press on the model button. From that point on, I'm gonna scroll all the way down. You can see all the different models and planes that we have on this. I'm gonna to go to model number 22. I'm gonna to go to create model. And from that point over, I can hit the page over one time. From this point here, I can name my model, I can go down, I can get ready to bind. So let's go ahead and name our model just Drone. The reason I'm calling this Drone is because whether I'm flying my Guardian or whether I'm flying my Tiny Whoop, these same precepts will work, so all I need to do is bind it to this model mode. So now that I go ahead and name my model here, I'm gonna press return once. That's gonna take me back to my main screen here. And I can go all the way down here and I'll show you exactly where we're gonna to wanna to activate our internal module. We're gonna scroll down until we see internal RF mode. We're gonna scroll over once, and once we go to multi, you're gonna see that opens up many other selections. We're gonna go down one to type, and then we're gonna scroll over, and we're gonna scroll until we see FR Sky X. We're gonna select that, and then one more rolly ball, we're gonna select D16 and turn into D8. Now that we've selected this, we are ready to be able to bind to our transmitter, but the first thing we wanna do is assign our modes. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit return once, and now I'm gonna page over, all the way to where we see mixes. From this point on, this is where we can actually assign switches to be different things like arming, rate mode, beeper, flip over after crash, things like that. And so the very first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna go down to switch number five. I'm gonna select that. Simply selecting is pushing down the rolly ball. And where it says source, I'm gonna click down once and I'm gonna click in this case, the E switch, just like that. Now I'm gonna lock that in and I'm gonna exit out of that by hitting return once. And we'll hit it one more time. Now we'll go down to switch number six. We'll go down to source one more time. And this time, I'm gonna select switch B. I always like to bring it back to being away from me, and then I'll confirm it. We'll hit return two more times now, go back. We'll go to channel number seven. And in this case, we're gonna select switch F. So we'll go to source, flip that forward and backwards, return twice. And then finally for channel number eight, we're gonna select switch C. Now we can return out of this and you can see as we scroll down here that all these switches are assigned. Now the neat thing about this is this has kind of become the standard protocol for many different pilots. In other words, the front left is always your arming switch. The next button over is your different rates, which will give you anything from angle to acro, horizon, features like that. Then you have your beeper, and then you have your flip over after crash. Now the really cool thing about this configuration here is even though other drones may not have all these features configured, like for example here, the Guardian V2 doesn't have its beeper or flip over after crash activated, but that's okay because once you fly or you go into beta flight, you can activate these modes and you'll always know that switch number three, which is a two position switch, can be your beeper, and switch number four, which is a three position switch, can be your flip over after crash. You can also use this exact same process to reassign any switch on your transmitter based on your own personal preference. At this point, our Zorro transmitter is ready to bind to either our FT Guardian V2 or our FT Tiny Whoop. We're ready to move on to the binding process. We'll see you in the next video.